Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to this mental house with me, your host, Khadija. And if you don't think it's a mental house, listen to this. George Santos, ejected from house and facing fraud trial, said he's going to run again in New York. This article came from um, NPR. Uh, Brian Mann. Anyway, former New York Republican George Santos, elected by fellow lawmakers from the House, ejected, I mean, in December, turned up Thursday night at President Biden's State of the Union wearing a bejeweled collar. (laughs) Santos was allowed. See, they like this kind of mess. Because most sane and rational people reject on a human level a person that is outside, that far out the line, stealing from people, making themselves a fraud, um, I mean, stealing from campaigns, uh, taking money from sick dog funds. Most people reject people with that type of behavior, okay? And so this this should be your gauge, of just how all out of balance we are. And this is particularly moving because it is a prime example of spiritual wickedness. He was allowed to sit there already. He, I mean, he was allowed to be uh, um, in the house, right? Because they elected him. But then they found out all kinds of craziness about him. And he has the nerve to show up and without being ostracized. He was allowed to attend the president's address. Okay, well, that's because former U.S. representatives retained lifetime membership privilege even after being expelled. Now, how sick is that? Just listen to how uh, the kingdom does things. The great Babylon whore. Showing that he hasn't lost his flair for the dramatic, Santos used the moment to announce another bid for office. New York hasn't had a real conservative represent them since I left office. Arbitrarily, thanks to Rhino, empty suits like at Nick Nick, Nick, uh, what is this, Nick Latola? I mean, these are the kind of people I guess he honors. He was referring to freshman Republican Nick Lalata, who represents New York's list, um, first congressional district on Long Island. Lalata helped lead the effort to oust Santos from the third district house seat after it was revealed that Santos had lied pretty much about every god darn thing that was on his paper, personal and professional. His history was just lies. And the federal prosecutors indicted Santos on 23 fraud charges. Kind of sound Trumpish. Now Santos said he'll return the favor by trying to oust Lalada in the GOP primary on June 25th. I will be returning to the arena of politics and challenging Nick for the battle over NYI. I look forward to debating him on the issues and on his weak record as a Republican. Lalada immediately fired back at his former colleague, also posting on X, to raise the standard in Congress and to hold a pathological liar who stole an election accountable I led the charge to expel George Santos, Lalada wrote. If finishing the job requires beating him in the primary, count me in. Santos' return to politics is unwelcome news for Republicans in New York who already face a challenging election season as they fight to defend key houses that were won in 2022. 
third district house seat has already tipped to a Democrat, uh, Republican, I mean, Democrat Tom Swoozy, who won a special election to replace Santos last month. Santos' lingering presence in New York politics might be a reminder to voters that he won office with strong backing from many of the state's most influential GOP officials. <laughs> it was later revealed that he invented much of his personal and professional history, fabricating a false Jewish heritage for his family and claiming to have been a competitive volleyball player at a college that he never attended. The dude is Tiffany Henyard. While cam campaigning for office, Santos will be preparing for his federal fraud trial, scheduled to begin in September on Long Island. Among the two dozen uh, charges that he faced, Santos is accused of ripping off former campaign donors. <laughs> Anyway, Santos has denied any wrongdoing. His former campaign treasurer has all, already pleaded guilty. But he said he didn't do it. And his campaign manager pled guilty. So I guess he did it by himself. Y'all, tell me what you think about this, please. Um... You know, is it is it is it the empire that's about to totally just fall apart? Can it be saved? According to scripture, it cannot. But I want to know what y'all think. If you like what you hear, subscribe and share my channel. And I'm going to see you in the next video.